In charges unsealed by the FBI, a shocking plot to kidnap Michigan's Democratic governor, Gretchen Whitmer. 13 men accused of terrorism, conspiracy and weapons charges. Six of them charged with the plot against Whitmer. Seven others facing state charges wanting to ignite a civil war. Federal agents stormed several locations, including this mobile home, uncovering evidence that members of a right-wing militia group had staked out the governor's home and rehearsed the plot with weapons and explosives. Made threats of violence intended to instigate a civil war and engaged in planning and training for an operation to attack the Capitol building of Michigan and to kidnap government officials, including the governor of Michigan. The militia group upset in part about state-imposed restrictions during the pandemic, said they wanted to take Whitmer hostage before the November election. Whitmer reacted by laying blame for the rise in right-wing extremism on President Donald Trump. Just last week, the President of the United States stood before the American people and refused to condemn white supremacists and hate groups like these two Michigan militia groups. Stand back and stand by, he told them. And right from the boys, stand back and stand by. Our streets, our streets. President Trump's comments at last week's debate have emboldened white supremacist groups such as the Proud Boys and galvanized those who oppose coronavirus restrictions across the country. The arrests come as federal and state authorities are on the alert for the possibility of politically motivated violence in the final weeks before the election. And finally, 